Today, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm, of course, Kefalos, and today we're going to be taking a look at the four star Targon campaign here against Aurelian Sol in the Path of Champions, of course, and we're going to be using Lee Sin for today's run. So, I'm kind of excited for this run, quite simply because, you know, it took a while to get together. Um, I needed to make sure that my Lee Sin was at level 20, which, in my opinion, is the minimum level required to take on the Aurelian Sol. Uh, quite simply because it gives us access to the guaranteed droid champion on turn one i think that would be really important but yeah i am super excited to take a look at this one quite simply because of the way lee sin works so we take a look at his star powers here real quick uh, I do have access to his level 3 star power, which is the Dragon Spirit 2. When you play your second spell in a round, give your strongest ally plus 8 plus 8 this round. So this is going to be really useful on both the defensive and in attacking turn, uh, quite simply because of the plus 8 plus 8 is a really huge power spike here. Uh, I'm going to have to remember this because if I'm going to be honest with you, I tend to forget about this thing, uh, which is really surprising, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I will try to remember. Uh, anyway, extend your senses, plus 1 starting mana, round start, great a fleeting twin disciples in hand. This is also a really good spell to have, quite simply because it's a fleeting spell although it costs you know two mana we can potentially try to get some cost reduction uh something like the your spells cost one less or your credit cards cost one less could also be great that way we could get the cost reduction on this it also gives us a nice buff to the attack or the health stat if we need to but yeah we are probably going to be relying on the dragon spirit more often than not all right so in terms of the champion level here i spent the better half of yesterday grinding just to make sure i have access to the level 20 heroes welcome to draw a champion on game start i think this is going to be really important because lee sin would probably be our win condition here uh, depending on how you know the run shapes out but anyway i am missing out on the level 28 for you starting next self as well as the level 30 rare relic salt tree but i think it should be fine if we could potentially um, out aggress or play more aggressive than the enemy here in the, uh, into the aurelian soul i think we should be okay all right in terms of the relics here i have a archangel staff and a troll king's crown uh round start refill your spell mana is really really nice to have especially if we cannot pick up the sorcery power which will essentially do the same thing so yeah this is basically Basically my backup option if you will uh, that way we could consistently play spells with the Lee Sin and I think it's gonna be important all right next up the Troking's Crown allies have overwhelmed this is also kind of nice quite simply because of these uh, plus eight plus eight here so ideally we were gonna want to try to get the plus eight plus eight on the Lee Sin but assuming that we can't get it on the Lee Sin and say we get it on some other unit uh, at least the overwhelm when we summon the Lee Sin will potentially allow that other unit with the buff stats to deal Nexus damage so I think it's a really good item to have all right so let's quickly head back out and we are gonna see how this run works i have not tested this out yet so this is basically a blind playthrough but yeah let's go ahead and find out together Okay, so let's see where the Aurelian Soul is running first. He has a unyielding. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to beat it here, but we'll try, we'll try, we'll definitely try. Uh, let's see what are the other enemies having. The Nolus here is also unyielding, which isn't too great. Poppy here is power overwhelming, and Karma is also unyielding. So it looks like this is an unyielding termination uh, prominent run, if you will. <laughs> okay, so let's head to the first power node and see what we pick up. Okay, so create a fleeting zero-cost counterfeit copies in hand. This could be great, right? Because we're going to be playing a lot of spells, actually. Uh, we might need this to guarantee the plus eight plus eight consistently. Fleeting counterfeit, co counterfeit copies is also a burst. And we could actually copy some really good cards like the... Um, where is it? Where is it? The... If I could find it, of course. Just give me one second. Um... Sonic Wave, there we go. So yeah, if we could copy a couple of Sonic Waves, we could actually take advantage of that, right? Yeah, I think this looks like a good one. Ideally, I want something more aggressive like a Rally or something, but I think we can pick that up later. So I think we're going to pick this up. Okay, so let's head to the Karma here. Okay, I think we can start with this because into the karma, we're going to start with 10 mana and we are guaranteed to draw a Lee Sin. So the attack token is on the enemy's side. That means we have to stall out and turn a little bit. It might be worth getting rid of one Shadow Assassin, but the elusives could be nice. I tell you what, we're going to keep this and we'll just uh, work with it, I would say. It's going to be a karma here. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a karma here. Um, let's put on the scale to the dragon first. We'll probably just use this to block the karma. I won't stand by. Heart and mind as one. Ionia speaks through me. Actually, I have a better idea. Let's bring on the Lee Sin. I call upon the dragon. Master. 
Okay, this is what we'll do. We'll put the four two here to get rid of this guy. We'll put the Lee Sin here. I have a plan. We should get the berry on the Lee Sin when we play a second spell. So what we can do is we can play counterfeit copies here. Uh, let's copy the... Let's copy the Twin Disciples, I guess. Because it's a stat buff, it could be great. And let's actually play Twin Disciples on... Ah, okay, okay. So if we play Twin Disciples on this guy... That plus 8 plus 8 is gonna go to the uh, scales of the dragon because he has the higher attack stat. Uh, so we might want to buff the Lee Sin to deal damage. You know what, let's not do that because we're not gonna kill the Karma regardless and uh, Lee Sin will probably get a barrier. So I think it's better to just buff the health on this guy that way this uh, scales of the dragon also survives. Oh crap, I screwed up didn't I? Oh man, I definitely screwed up. Yeah, this is why I said, you know, the Lee Sin one is a little bit tricky. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but it, it, it could be a little bit tricky. Uh, yeah, when I was talking about the Dragon Spirit power at the beginning. So this could be a little bit tricky. So um, we might want to look into playing that on the weaker unit, the... Um, uh, what is it? The plus zero plus two there. Uh, I can't remember the spell name, but yeah, we're probably gonna look to play that on the uh, weaker unit. That way the stronger unit gets the buff regardless. Yeah, that was definitely on me. I will try to play better, but uh, I think this should be okay. We'll just commit this. Okay, I think we're bringing on the elusives here. We need to have enough mana to play everything else. As death. My family was raised on this soil. All right, I think this is what we'll do. We'll attack like so. Um, we can actually get guaranteed. Uh, we can guarantee a victory here. Actually, okay. So I have a plan. Let's buff the elusive. We'll buff the elusive again. Either one. Five damage, 18 damage. Um. Oh crap, I forgot the karma is unyielding, right? Oh man, the karma is the unyielding. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll drag the karma to this Lee here. Um, let's actually play... Let's give Dragon's Protection to this guy because we need to pre uh, prevent it from uh, dealing damage to us. Well, not dealing damage, but killing the scales of the dragon here. Uh, let's even play Sonic Wave, I think. We can just kill this guy, get the uh, stat buff. Actually, we can't because we are out of spell mana. Alright, so I guess we're just going to commit this then. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the best Lee Sin player. Uh, I don't consider myself a spell slinger, so yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's commit this. Doesn't want to block, interesting. Alright, let's play the... No, let's not play the Inspiring Mentor yet. Let's end the round. A rally could have been great. That way we could attack again. Um, oh, well, not on, again, but on the next turn, like this turn or something. That's cool, that's cool. We'll probably be able to pick that up later, hopefully. Alright, so I think we'll do the same thing. Lee's in here, because we can trigger the barrier. Uh, 4 5 on this guy. We want to keep our elusive, so I think what we'll do is. Create, uh, recall the unit trio ourselves. Okay, we can't recall any of the enemies. Uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll play a counterfeit copies. Let's copy the twin disciples again. And I guess we'll buff the Lee Sin here, right? Yeah. Yep, there we go. So we don't make the same mistake as earlier. And we get a little bit extra damage on the Karma, which is nice. Not the greatest, but it is what it is. Unless it silences us, of course. Um... Okay, I think it should still be fine. What happens if we recall this? Hold on. Silence this round. If we recall this, I think the silence will... 
be permanent, right? I think so. Okay, so you know what? I don't think we're gonna recall it. We're just gonna let it die. Oh, you know what? Let's recall it. At least we get a extra Poro, I'd say. I hope I'm right. <laughs> yeah, it's a permanent one, which isn't too great, but it is what it is. Um, let's put down the Inspiring Mentor. We'll buff the scales of the dragon here. Let's bring that on. I won't stand by. You are brave, young one. I guess we'll attack with everything. Mm, we we'll want to buff the elusives. That way we guarantee the damage. And that way we could uh, get past this uh, um, elusive. Actually, no. We can drag this elusive to the Lee Sin with the challenger. Okay. So that's definitely a better plan. Let's play a Twin Disciples on one of this guy. Uh, let's play Sonic Wave. We'll give the challenger to the 5-2. We can take out some units. It doesn't really matter. I think we should have to win. Unless I screwed that up and we accidentally buffed the scales here. Yeah, this is why I said again, really, really tricky. I'm, you know, uh, I'm not really the best Lee Sin player, admittedly. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just put the plus two onto this guy, I guess. I hope so. Uh, no, we can actually drag the karma here. This should be some good damage, actually, I think. Yeah, I think it should still be fine regardless. Okay, it sorts itself out. Unless there's a deny here. Okay, doesn't really matter. We still get a victory. Cool. Alright, so we get Blade of the Exile, Mighty Poro, and the Empyrean. Plus one, plus one with the tree tree. I think that could be great because we are summoning a Mighty Poro with the Gruesome Theater, right? Yeah, that could actually be fairly decent, actually. That way we get an extra buff on it. Uh, Elusive Empyrean is also really, really nice. Minus one cost is kind of expensive, however. Uh, still, Sorry, what I mean to say is that even with the minus one cost, it is still kind of expensive. So, I think... A free Blade of the Exile is also kind of nice, actually. <laughs> These are all really good cards, I think. Um, I think spells could be more important, right? Because that way we have a zero cost Blade of the Exile with the Overwhelm uh, on the turn one, potentially. I think we're just going to go with this, I think. I'm not really sure. I hope that's the right pick. Okay, let's head to the support champion here. Uh, we get Garen, we get Swain, and we get Katarina. Swain could be the best, actually, because Swain has a lot of spells, I think. Uh, well, not really a lot of spells, but we can take advantage of some of this stuff, like the Ravenous Flock here. Um, Garen is kind of expensive. Concerted Strike is nice. I don't deny that. Do 4 to a unit if it's damaged or stun. Katarina with the Might. I think we're gonna go with the Garen here, I feel. The Strike could be decent, actually. With the Lee Sin, we could potentially deal some good damage. Okay, I'm not really sure here, but I think we're gonna go with the Garen. Alright, so let's see. We have a Caitlyn and a Gangplank. We have a Spells Chest, a Gold Chest, as well as a Healer Node. I think we're gonna wanna head up to the Spells Chest, so let's go ahead and take on the Gangplank. Alright, so we draw the Lee here, which is great, and I think we're gonna keep this. This seems fine. Alright, so let's put on Inspiring Mentor, and I think we'll buff the Lee Sin. My training is unconventional. Uh, yeah, let's not do anything, because it's pointless to uh, play anything right now. Okay, I think we can bring on the Green Lit Lookout. Alright, this is what we can do. We can play counterfeit copies. Copy the twin disciples here. Or twin disciple this guy. 
Actually, let's give it a stat buff. I think that's better. Drag this guy here. Because chances are it's going to block with a 2-2. So we might as well just, uh, you know, let, let this guy deal damage, I think. Yeah, I think so. You got legs. Use them. Oh, I, did, I, I screwed up, didn't I? I probably should have blocked with this guy. Ah, that way he, you know, because this 8-8 uh, is going to disappear. So it wouldn't have dealt damage regardless. Oh, crap. I screwed up. I screwed up. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We'll end the round. This one I said I'm terrible at listen. <laughs> I don't really uh, like to play spells too much. It confuses me. All right. I guess we'll drop the Lee here. Extend your senses. Uh, let's end the round. Okay, I think we can make something work here. Let's attack with everything. We'll drag the zero one one here. Sonic Wave will give it to... This dude. Our enemies cannot hide. Plus two will give it to Lee. There we go. We get some really good damage here. Finally, we're playing better. <laughs> we can even play the, uh, what is it, the Twin Disciples here. Uh, let's play a plus two plus zero. It's not going to do too much. It's probably going to leave it with one health, but I think it should be okay. Oh, I shouldn't have dragged that powder kick then. We could have dealt more damage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm screwing things up a lot. Um, let's put on the Garen, I guess, with the re with cost reduction. Yeah, a rally could be great. That way we could just finish off the battle. But it's fine. Uh, we can, of course, just stun this guy. We can stun the GP with the concussive palm, which is great. Femro GP, oof. Not, not good at all. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to resolve it then, right? Uh, we could actually make something work here because Garen's the strongest unit. Let's actually play a gruesome theater, recall the um, tree tree. Uh, we'll play the twin disciples on the Garen and we should get the buff here. Stay resolute. All right, let's attack with everything. We do what is right. Croyan won't do any good. Doesn't really matter. You don't, we only need one damage, so it's fine. Okay, so we get a Confront here, which could be great. Plus 2, plus 0 on the Nimble Poro isn't that useful, so I think I'd rather pick up the Confront here. Let's see, we have a Zoe and a Swain. I think we're still going to head to the Zoe. The spell chest is probably my priority. Uh, give all allies tough to strong ranges resolve. Create a fleeting Mark of the Isles and drain 5 from a unit. Uh, none of these are that great, actually. Mark of the Isle, Spirit Journey, and Crumble. I don't think we can make use of too many of these. Kill a unit, then revive it isn't too bad, but yeah, I'm not really sure how useful that's going to be. I think we might just go with the... Give our allies tough this round, because that way we could survive better, and it's really, really cheap as well. Yeah, I think we'll just go with this. I'm not really sure if this is the right call here, but we're just going to pick that up. Uh, we have a champion item chest, which is fairly decent, so we're going to head to the Zoe here. Okay, we get both Garen and the Lee Sin. I think we're going to re-roll because ideally we want some cheaper units. Uh, we'll keep the Brights to protect her in case we need to play it, but the Lee Sin is a non-negotiable card, I would say. Get some cheap spells, but uh, nothing to make use of. <laughs> Uh, it's a good thing we hang hung on to that uh, Bright Steel Protector there, but it's a loser. We probably can't do anything, so I guess we're going to pass. Damn it. I guess we're going to pass again. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I just realized Lee Sin also levels up, even though, you know, he's not on the board. Okay, okay, so, yeah, my, I, I probably did not notice this earlier, which is my mistake, so I think we're just going to consistently play spells regardless. Uh, let's just copy the Twin Disciples here, I think. Or, you know what, let's copy the Blade of the Exile. You know what, let's copy the Twin Disciples. <laughs> just to progress Lee Sin's level up a little bit. Um, we're not going to put on the Bright Suit Protector. We're going to give up the Barry here, so I guess we're going to pass. And we don't get a unit again. Might have, might have been worth to copy something else. Alright, so I think we'll just drop the Bright Steel here because, you know, we're probably going to miss out on the curve. I think it's going to be really bad if we do. Uh, let's put a Blade of the Exile on. Actually, we can make something out of this because this is an attacking turn. Let's play Blade of the Exile first. Twin Disciples, and I think you can see where I'm going with this. Um, let's not play Sonic Wave yet. We will get the Challenger, but we will lose out on the plus two plus zero, which could actually not be a bad thing because we still get a Challenger. Mm, yeah, let's actually do that, I think. We'll drag that and kill the Zoe, I guess, right? I think so. We just won the Challenger. We're just gonna let this Resonating straight disappear. At least we get rid of the Zoe here. Power it's cool. I guess we'll recall Sneaky Zeebos' is five cost, so I guess we'll recall that. Um, stun enemies with two or less power. Okay, so we're safe. We should get the Mighty Poro on, and it should not get stunned. Beautiful. And let's actually give it a. No, let's not do anything first. Let's pass the turn. All right, nice. So we'll put this guy here. We'll put this guy here. Actually, no. Let's swap it around. We can play counterfeit copies. We'll copy the Twin Disciples again. Uh, we get the stat buff, which is great. Uh, actually, no. We can block this guy. That'll be far better. Right? Yep, it definitely is. Listen on. Extend your sense. Copies, we'll copy... Let's copy the Twin Disciples again. <laughs> uh, Blade of the Exile, I guess. And I think we'll put it on to Lee. Doesn't really matter, actually. He should uh, be able to still do some good damage. Alright, beautiful. I think we might have to win here. Uh, let's actually drag the 5 6, I guess. Yeah, I think it should be fine, right? Ah, oh, cram it. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite enough damage. I was playing, you know, estimates there. I wasn't really calculating. Um, so, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We, we still succumb to that one damage thing. I think we really need a rally or something. That way we could attack more often. Uh, let's bring on the Garen then. Let's put on... Let's not put on anything first. Okay, uh, I guess we're going to put the Garen here. 6-6 six, six Lee here. And the 5-4 onto this guy, I guess. Um, twin Disciples. We'll, no, let's not do that first. Let's copy again. We're going to copy the... Twin Disciples once more. As the dragon wills. Okay, Lee's probably gonna get the stat buff, so we'll put Garen here. Uh, Lee onto the 7 tree. And we'll buff this guy, that way it survives. There we go. Stay 
And we'll attack. I think we should get the win here. Alright, we get a Overwhelm to the Shadow Assassin, which isn't the greatest card, because quite frankly, we already have the Overwhelm. I think we might just go for the Unyielding Spirit here. That could be fairly decent. It is fairly expensive, however. Let's see what the Damas and Telstones offers first. We get a Barrier, we get a Capture, as well as a plus 3, plus 3. Uh, these look like better options, but the Unyielding feels too good to pass up, so I think we're going to pick this up. Okay, let's head to the Champion. I'm Jess here. Uh, we get a buff, I think, to Lee Sin. Ideally, cost reduction could be great, so I think we'll spend a couple of rerolls just to see if we could get that. Uh, minus one cost is fair enough, so I think we'll pick this up. Let's head to the shop here. Grab a power, we get... Your credit cards cost one less. That could be decent, actually, right? Because ideally, we are creating a couple of cards, and essentially, we could actually get some cost reductions on the... Uh, what is it? What is it? Where the hell is it? The fleeting twin disciples, right? So that could actually be fairly decent. So I think we might just purchase this. Okay, I don't think we need to grab anything else. The stun could be nice, but I think we should be fine. Uh, Vengeance is also kind of nice. You know what? Let's not go for anything. I don't want to uh, overcomplicate the deck. It's fairly complicated as is. So I think we'll just leave here and we're going to take on the poppy. Okay, Garen and Lee Sin. Bright Steel Protector and Skill Snapper. Uh, I think we'll get rid of the Bright Steel here and we'll keep everything else. Alright, I guess we'll s uh, summon the Snapper first, and I think we'll give it a 2-5. Oh man, we don't have enough to play the Twin Disciples. Okay, it's cool. Uh, let's just attack like so. I think we can still copy here. Um, let's not copy Twin Disciples this time. Actually, no, let's copy Twin Disciples. It's better because it's created that way. I think it will reduce its uh, cost even more, I believe. Rangers resolve. Babbling balladeers. Um, might want to play a couple of spells here. Do we want to bring on the skill scales of the dragon? We might need the block here. Yeah, I think we might need the block, so I think we'll bring this on. I won't stand by. Okay, we can actually still make uh work, make this work here. So I think we'll play counterfeit copies. Uh. Oh, I screwed up again, didn't I? The first turn. I'm realizing that now. I'm so terrible at the Lee Sin deck. If on that turn one, we played counterfeit copies on the Twin Disciples, it goes down to zero cost. Uh, oh no, it doesn't reduce the cost in hand. It reduces the card uh, copy of it in your deck, I believe. Pick a card in hand, create four exact copies of it in your deck. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. My mistake. Um, I think... I think we'll just reduce the Twin Disciples again. And we'll block with the 2-5. That way the 4-2 doesn't die. Oh, I probably should have killed it here. Power overwhelming. Oh, God. Um, I think it's still fine. I think it's still fine. We'll drop the lease in here. I'm playing so terribly today. I'm not sure why. <laughs> A card in hand, create four copies of it in deck. Yeah, I'm not gonna copy again. I'm definitely not gonna attack as well. We can't really do anything here. Yeah, we probably need a little bit more mana, I'd say. Uh, I think we should be fine next turn, I believe. Let's pass the turn. Come now, minstrel, save the adjectives for me. Okay, we'll put the Garen in. For king and country. Same, but, um, for this side. Because we have a couple of spells here that we can actually play. Let's put a zero tree onto the Lee Sin here. The dragon protects. 
Uh, let's pass the turn. I, don't say I think we can counter this if we play this smart. I think we have a plan. Let's put the Garen here. Uh, plus two, plus zero will give it the discipline of uh, the plus zero, plus three. He gets buff. And we kill the Poppy here. Great. Okay, so we're going to commit this. Right, let's copy a couple more Twin Disciples, I guess. Uh, we might as well just play it just to progress Lee Sin's level up, right? Yeah, we might as well just do that. Since we have the spare mana as well. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I think we'll attack with these two. I guess we'll give Challenger to Garen. Sin should be really close to leveling up. We might even level him up this turn, which is great. Uh, plus two, plus zero. I think we'll buff the Garen. We'll just buff... No, let's not buff the Garen. Let's buff the Lee Sin. Because Garen will get the buff regardless. There we go. Uh, plus two, plus zero again. Actually, hold on. Let's... Uh, let's counterfeit copy... No, we might want to use the Judgment in case this gets out of hand. Okay, so plus two, plus zero on the Lee again. Uh, counterfeit copy on the Judgment just in case. But it's fine, we should have a victory here. Let's drag the tree tree here, and we'll drag the four tree here. And overwhelm damage, Lee Sin's Dragon's Rage. I think that's gonna be good enough, I hope. Alright, we get a challenge on the Lee Sin. We don't really need that because we should be able to get consistent challenges. Plus 3, plus 1 is nice because he has the Overwhelm. Uh, I think we're gonna pick this up. Alright, I hope we can get a really good power here. I think a Rally will help us nicely. Your spells cost 1 less. We don't really need that. We already have the cost reduction. I feel like I'm gonna reroll here. Or we can get actually a 0 cost fleeting... Uh, what is it? A 0 cost... Um, what is it? A fleeting zero cost uh, twin disciples with the spell slinger here. That could be fairly decent, right? Yeah, I think this is good. I think we'll pick this up. Okay, so I'm gonna really hope that we get something aggressive later on. Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it until then. We have a healer node here, a spells chest, as well as a scribe of sorrows. I think the spells chest is probably my go to. Uh, we have a Tom Kentrick perfected mana flow and Sejuani with power overwhelming. I think we're gonna head to the Sejuani. Alright, we'll get rid of Considered Strike, and I think we'll keep everything else. Yeah, Zergos Twin Disciples is great. Uh, that way we could, you know, potentially play it without being too worried uh, of, you know, uh, playing uh, about our spell mana, I should say. So I think we'll bring on the Inspiring Mentor. We will buff the Shadow Assassin. The Elusive could be decent. My training is unconventional. This land is ours. Uh, let's play a... Grant an ally challenger. I think that could be great on this guy, right? Could be. Uh, let's draw a Gringlet Lookout next turn. Let's play Twin Disciples as well. We'll give the plus two, plus zero, I guess. Actually, no, let's give it the health buff. I think that's gonna be better. At least we get rid of one unit, which is fairly decent. We'll drop the Greenlit Lookout here. Yeah, that cost reduction in the spell is great. That way we could consistently get a plus 8 plus 8 on our units. I think that's the missing uh, piece of the puzzle here. Okay, we're gonna pass the turn first. 4-4 four, four on. Counterfeit copies. Copy the Twin Disciples. It's cool. Twin Disciples on again. We'll buff up the plus zero plus three on this guy. Get the eight eight and we kill it. Wonderful. They're here. Sound the alarm. 
Okay, I feel like I'm gonna bring on Lee, but I think the elusive could be better if we could, uh, you know, av avoid a uh, frostbite here. That could be decent, actually. And I think we should be able to. Let's uh, attack with what we've got. Um, let's put the tree tree here. No, let's not do that. I think we'll keep this as a blocking unit. Let's buff this um, Shadow Assassin here. And we'll counterfeit copy the... We'll just counterfeit copy the Lee Sin. Alright, the reason why I played the plus two plus zero first is that, you know, it's starting to... Uh, the, the, the synapses are firing in my brain. I'm starting to think better. <laughs> uh, if we play that plus two plus zero on the elusive first, we increase the attack stat, and then when we play the counterfeit copies, uh, it's gonna get that, uh, you know, power buff on the elusive, which is what we want. Okay, so I think that's definitely great, so we're gonna commit this. 14 damage is nice. Regeneration Sejuani could be a little bit scary, but I think it's fine. Can I actually drop the Garen here, right? Or do we want to bring on the Lee Sin? Lee Sin is 610. He should be really close to leveling up. Okay, I think I'll drop the Lee Sin. It's far better. The overwhelm is also nice on the next attacking turn. Uh, let's put on the Greenlit Lookout since we have the mana. We will not end around. Let's just cast the spell so that way Lee Sin levels up. Uh, we'll play a we'll play another counterfeit copies. So we'll plus two plus uh, copy the twin disciples. Just plus two plus zero to Lee Sin doesn't really matter. And he should be at a eight ten. Yep, eight ten. Wonderful. He levels up next turn. If we need it, of course. Okay. Uh, count of a copy, so we'll copy Twin Disciples. At this point, doesn't really matter. Plus two, plus zero, we'll give it to... Yeah, let's give it to the Lee. Track the 5-5 five, five here. I fight with the dragon fury. Four tree down to this guy. And we should win. Alright, uh, Plundai costs 3 less on the Unyielding could be good because we have a unit that will actually generate Unyielding, so it could actually take advantage of that. I think we'll pick this up. Okay, let's head to the Spells chest here. Uh, Prismatic Barrier, Shadow Flare, and deal 2 to a Champion or 7 to a Follower. This could be good, right? Because there might be a couple of Followers in the ASOL. Actually, no, there's probably going to be more Champions. Uh, barrier is definitely great. I think we'll pick this up. Right, we have Fiora here as well as a Jin. Jin is unstable. Fiora is power overwhelming. I feel like Jin might be easier to take down, uh, so I think we're gonna he uh, head towards him. Okay, we're gonna reroll the spells here because they aren't too great. Uh, I think we should be able to keep the Garen as well. You know what? Let's get rid of Garen. We are not really playing him. I think I like to see if we could get a unit. And of course, we don't. We get two Leesins. Oh, we really need some cheap units. Uh, if this, you know, I, I could see this becoming a problem because we aren't getting cheap units. I think we might just pass the turn. Uh, let's play counterfeit copies. We'll probably copy some Shadow Assassins, I guess. And I guess we'll pass. Alright, Shadow Assassin on. As There's a scent in the air. Do you have an idea? Let's play Twin Disciples, prevent that one damage. And we'll play Count of a Copy, so we'll just copy the Blade of the Exile. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this is not a stun. Is this gonna be a stun? I think not, because Jin is not in play yet. 
Yeah, it's not a stun. Cool. I guess we're just gonna attack like so. That gin is gonna come on this turn. Right? It should come on. We'll drop the Lee Sid here. Alright, I think it's gonna stun the tree too, right? Yeah, it's gonna stun the tree too. So I'm very sure Lee Sin will get the 8 8 buff because he is the strongest unit. So we're gonna play a. Twin Disciples and we'll buff this guy's uh, health. Let's copy a barrier. The barrier could be important. Lee Sin will still get buff, which is nice. And let's commit this. Okay, let's uh, grant Lee Sin Challenger. Uh, sorry, the quick attack. Um, let's pass the turn here. We'll bring on the Garen. My heart and soul for the Mafia. Ah, oh, damn it. You're a bastard. <laughs> um, it's cool, it's cool. I think we can play a Sonic Wave here. Yeah, it's definitely a good draw here. That way we could free up the Lee Sin. Probably take some damage here, but I think it's fine. Uh, let's just play Twin Disciples and we'll buff this guy. Garen has regeneration, which I'm not too worried about. Ah, oh crap, I probably should have played it on Garen because this is one damage. Hey, that's alright, that's alright. We have the barrier, so a little bit sloppy, but yeah, I think we're safe. We can actually just play the barrier first. No, we'll play the barrier later. That way we could uh, guarantee the kill there. Alright, so... Barrier? On to Garen, we'll get a Unyielding Spirit here. Um, Sonic Wave. I think we'll give Garen Challenger because we want to free up this guy. Unfree up our Lee. We'll give plus 2, plus 0 to our 4, 5. And I think we're fine. I hope I played that right. Alright, we're gonna end around here. Stay resolute. I never Let's put on the protector, we'll give barrier to the tree too. My shield is yours. My gifts cannot be refused, for they are not given. Recall unit with power less than me, that's great. That way we could just bring on again and trigger another barrier. I think we'll do that. Uh, let's bury our Garen. Actually, we should bury the Lee Sin. Ah, uh, no, the Lee Sin should get buried from the spells, I guess. Take one. Stuns the Garen, which is cool. Embrace your fate, as I have mine. Uh, let's pass the turn. Drag the Lee Sin there. We'll put the two tree here. Actually, we'll put the tree two here, and we'll put you the two tree down me. here. I'll stop you. Um, let's give Lee Sin the no. Let's give the plus zero plus tree to this guy. And we'll just randomly copy the on your link, it's fine. Oh wait, it barriers the Garen. No, it gives the plus 8 plus 8 to the Garen. Why is that? Is it because of the keywords or something? I could have sworn both of these are 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, I'm not really sure what went on there. I was expecting it to go to the Lee Sin, so do let me know if you guys know. I guess we should still be fine because we still get the barrier on the Lee Sin, regardless. Just fine, I would say. Lucky, but you know, fine. Alright, I guess we're gonna pass the turn here. At the very least, we win this turn, right? Because we could get the we could get the kick onto the Lee Sin here if we could challenge it. Uh, let's actually play a plus two plus zero onto the Lee. Three down. Uh, counterfeit copies. We'll just randomly copy the Anil Ling again. There we go. 
long way for a bullet. We must not relent! Ionia endures. Well, a little bit slow, but the good thing is that we won. Uh, we get a Dragon's Rage here, which could be decent. Recall an ally grade of Fleeting Return in hand. Nap one with Shadow Assassin isn't that great because we are having a lot of cards in our hands. I think we'll just go with the Dragon's Rage here. All right, let's hope we get a decent power from the shop here. Oh, we get the Rally, which is great. That way we could, you know, consistently attack. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so I think we should not have too many problems moving forward. I hope not. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to purchase anything here. So we're going to leave. Let's head to the other shop here. That means we're going to have to take on the Victor. Okay, so only Lee here, which is fairly decent. We'll get rid of the spells and whatnot because we want some cheaper units. You know, now that I'm thinking back, I think Katarina might have been a better pick into uh, a, a Lee Sin, you know, champion partner. Quite simply because of uh, the plus 3, plus 0 Overwhelm. That's a spell. We could have played that early on. So yeah, I, I wasn't really sure what I was thinking when I went with Garen there. It's cool though. We'll just drop the skill snapper here. Let's go with the 2-5 uh, version. We'll still attack with this guy because we can play counterfeit copies. Uh, let's copy the Twin Disciples first. I want to see if we can bait out this arm gear hit the block, so we're just going to commit this first. Alright, beautiful. And what we can do now is we just play a Twin Disciples, 0-3, we kill this guy, and we get rid of a unit. Alright, same idea. Uh, let's counterfeit copies. We'll probably copy the Twin Disciples again. I'm not really sure what to copy, if I'm going to be honest. I'm just copying for the sake of copying. <laughs> uh, let's go with A plus 0 plus 3 once more. Let's get a snapper on. We'll go with the 5 2 version. And we'll attack. 15 damage. Nice. I don't even need to play anything next turn. Or, you know, I think we should play something because that Victor's gonna come on. The Lee Sin's Challenger could be useful. Master yourself. Master enemy. Yep. This is what we'll do. Uh, let's play a... Plus 2, plus 0 on this 5-2. We'll counterfeit kind of copies. We'll just copy some Sonic Waves. It doesn't really matter. Seen we'll get Barry here. We'll drag the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the victor to this guy. And I think we should be okay. Okay, we're still fine, even though the Lee Sin dies. Okay, so we get fill your hand with gems, high note deal 2 to a unit. If you've played 6 plus other new spells this game, deal 1 to another unit. That could be fairly decent, right? Uh, Blade of the Exile grant an ally plus 2 plus 0 overwhelm and quick attack. I think the high note could be great. I cannot remember what this new define actually. If I'm not mistaken, it was actually stated on the, uh, what is it, during the reveal when uh, Seraphine was out. I believe there was a new vocabulary called new. I unfortunately cannot remember. I think it should be uh, for any card that is, you know, created, I think. It should be considered new. I hope I'm right. I can't remember. Honestly, I cannot remember. Um, I think we're still going to go for it, however. It should be okay. Deal 2 to a unit is nice. Okay, so let's see what we get here in the shop. By a power, of course, we get... When you summon ally granted a random keyword, it's not bad. I think we'll purchase this. I saw an upgrade down here, which I might like. The Cataclysm with the free attack could be decent. Challengers is also kind of decent. Uh, I think we'll pick this up. This could be decent, actually. We'll grab two copies. The Cataclysm looks like a nice, uh, you know, spell to have. 
Alright, so let's head to the healer here. Uh, I think we'll grab the 8 health. And we're gonna head to the Nautilus here, Unyielding Determination. This might be one of the longer episodes we do, quite simply because we're already around an hour. So yeah, just uh, need to give you guys the heads up. I think it should still be fine. We should be able to start with this, I guess. So I think we'll keep this. We'll buff the Lee Sin. My training is unconventional. Let's attack like so. Uh, let's actually commit this first because I have an idea. We'll try to bait out this tree four. All right, nice. So counterfeit copies. We'll copy the twin disciples again. Uh, plus two, plus zero, I guess. Yeah, that way we get more damage. Five damage, actually, which is still fairly decent. Not the greatest, but it is what it is. We could get one more cost reduction on the lease, and that could be great. Uh, nothing summoned this turn. Do we want to bring on the Bright Steel? No, I don't think so. We want to keep the barrier just in case. Oh, you know what? Let's bring it on. I think we should be able to get some good Nexus damage. It doesn't seem to summon anything, so we should take full advantage of this. Alright, we're going to put on the Arranger's Resolve. We could get the extra Poro here. Elusive Poro as well. Nice. Um, counter for copies. Plus two, plus zero. We'll buff the... Inspiring Mentor here. And looks like the Bright Steel Protector gets the buff. Interesting. I thought th these two are same health. <laughs> okay, so let's put on the plus two plus zero onto the Inspiring Mentor again. Since it's fleeting. Uh, might as well just play counterfeit copies. Get the Sonic Wave trigger, I guess. Uh, no, copy the Sonic Wave. Um, and I think we could even bring on a... No, actually this might be better. Hold on. I think I have a better idea. Let's recall this 1-1. One, one. I have an idea, I have an idea, trust me. Get a mighty Poro here. We'll bring on this Poro again. <laughs> and we should get some heavy damage here, 25. Okay, not the greatest, but it is what it is. Let's commit. Might even win this turn, we don't even need to bring on the lead. Let's see. Uh, oh crap, I forgot about unyielding. Okay, so we might need the lease in. We'll bring him on. Master yourself. Master your enemy. This below doesn't really matter. I think what we can do is we can attack like so. Um, five damage. We want to make sure that we get five damage first and then we trigger the unyielding. Okay, that way we get, uh, you know, ex as much damage as possible. So let's play a... Plus two, plus zero on the elusive here, I guess. No, we'll play it on the Lee Sin. We'll keep buffing him. Uh, let's play another one. He's really close to leveling up. One more spell will do. So I think we'll play Sonic Wave. We'll just randomly give Challenger to this 2 tree. Uh, plus two, plus zero. We'll give it to the Lee Sin again. We'll drag this guy here. That way we get the Dragon's Rage onto the Nexus and we guarantee victory. Nice. Alright, we get Overwhelm here, which isn't the greatest. I think we're gonna spend some rerolls since we have the extra and see if we could get some better U uh, items, I would say, on the on the champions here. Plus one, plus one in quick attack. And none of these are that great. I think we'll reroll again. Minus one cost is decent. I think we'll pick this up on the Lee Sin. We can bring on earlier that way into the ASOL. That would be great. Alright, so let's head to the power node here. Two arm gear hit, fleeting copy, our last non-fleeting car, frozen thrall. I think we'll spend a reroll here. 
Uh, Frostbite isn't the greatest. Ideally, we would have preferred some better powers, but I think it should be fine. We'll pick up the Frostbite. Alright, so let's head to the Yasuo with another Unyielding, and then we're gonna head to the shop here. I want to see if we could purchase a better power. Alright, draw the Garen here, which is great. We'll get rid of the two Bright Steels, and I think we can get rid of the Ranger's Resolve. Get cheap units, which could be bad. Ah, so unfortunate. I was hoping we get some cheap units here. Uh, I think it should be still okay. We'll probably just play counterfeit and copy the twin disciples. Or you know what? Let's copy some cataclysms. That Yasuo's gonna come on. Let's drop the Lee Sin first. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. I go where the road takes me. Alright, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play counterfeit copies. Uh let's copy. Let's copy this one cost cataclysm. That way we could get, you know, um free free attacks actually. That would be really, really OP. Okay, so I think we'll copy this. Play Twin Disciples will give Lee Sin the buff. Because he, he's going to get barrier, so we're fine. We're safe. And we're going to drag Yasuo here. Get rid of him. Let's play a Cataclysm. We'll play this 2-cost Cataclysm because we don't really need it anymore. Uh, let's drag the 0-2. That way we get some good uh, Nexus damage here. I think this is what we can do. Um, I think we should be safe from stuns, actually. So let's play a Cataclysm. Actually, no, let's attack first. Counterfeit copies. We'll copy the Cataclysm again. This, the free attacks could be really, really helpful. And I think that's the game plan moving forward. We'll probably just spend Twin Disciples... Uh, sorry, not Twin Disciples, but Counterfeit copies on the Cataclysm. Let's put a Twin Disciple onto the Lee Sin again. Drag him here. Cataclysm would attack this uh, Yasuo. Okay, that's Stanya, but we at least we get the unyielding. I think we'll play that on the uh, Lee Sin here. Oh, we actually should put on. No, we can't do that. It's already committed the attack. Okay, so we're gonna have to take the two damage regardless. It's cool. Alright, I think I know the game plan here. Uh, Twin Disciple on. Plus two, plus zero onto Lee. Probably gonna copy... You know what, let's copy one more. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> we should have the victory here, actually. The dragon spirit awakens. Prepare yourself. Alright, nice. Even if it stuns us, it's cool, because uh, this Dragon's Rage actually will connect. And even if the Dragon's Rage did not connect, I think we have the Cataclysm here, which is nice. Okay, so it's alright. We're gonna commit this. I thank you, Dragon. Alright, so we get a Tiana Crown Guard here, a give, a, uh, give all allies tough and when you summon an ally, you're in plus 2 plus 2. I think we're just gonna go with this Ranger's Resolve here. I'm not sure if this is the best card, but this is really expensive, so I think we're just gonna pick this up. Alright, let's head to the shop here. Let's see if we can get a better power here, actually. 
We get, okay, first card you play each round costs one less. For every 20 cards that start in your deck, this is great. We can potentially bring on a one cost Lee Sin on turn one, which is amazing. We're definitely going to pick this up. Uh, in terms of the cards here, I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, kill a unit, zero cost vengeance could be decent. Yeah, I'm not, I'm think, I think I'm not going to purchase this because I don't want too many cards. I think we're going to leave. We're just going to head on to the Ezreal and see how it goes. Alright, let's get rid of one Cataclysm, the Damascene Merchant, and the Ranger's Resolve here. Oh, and we draw the Garen. <laughs> we need to draw the Lee Sin, we cannot draw the Garen. Okay, we do draw the Lee Sin, nice. Um, duplicate Ezreal isn't the greatest, but I think it should be okay. Let's still bring on the Lee Sin here, we should be fine. We're definitely not gonna block here. Uh, let's just play the Twin Disciples. I have an idea. We have to take the 12 face damage, which isn't the greatest. But it is what it is. Track the Ezreal here, and we'll play counterfeit copies. We'll probably just copy the Cataclysm. Let's drop the Garen here. Uh, didn't think her big brother would be so. <laughs> Don't even think about it. All right. Uh, let's do the same thing. I'd say we we'll want to buff the Lee Sin again. We'll Counterfeit copies the Cataclysm. And let's just drag the two tree Defending here. I think it should be fine. We might even get the win actually. Okay, we get stunned here, but it's cool. That's the reason why we uh, want, we want to copy the Cataclysm. We could attack with this, which is decent. So we're going to resolve this first. Cataclysm, let's get rid of the 06. Actually, there's a spell shield, which probably won't do anything. Uh, actually, hold on. This might be a free Nexus attack, right? Yeah, that's uh, 17 damage. We're going to do that for sure. Unless it blocks, of course. It's cool. We can just do that again. Alright, so we get, when you play a spell, reduce my cost by one, we could actually get a turn one free Cataclysm, which could be fairly decent. So I think we'll pick this up. This looks like a good thing to have. Uh, 19 health into Aurelian Sol and Draven isn't the greatest, but we'll have to deal with it. Let's take on the Draven first, one step at a time. Well. Let's get rid of the Confront and the Barrier. We even get rid of Blade of the Exile. I don't think we need this. Cataclysm, nice. I expect to draw a Lee Sin here. Wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna copy the Cataclysm, of course. And we're gonna play Twin Disciples, we'll play plus two, plus zero, and we'll drag this 4-4 here. We should also get a free attack here, which is nice, after the rally. Ooh, that's Wonderful. How many spells to Lee level up to, actually? Uh, it's, he's only at two, it's cool, it's cool, we're just committed. Alright, so we're gonna end the round here. Now, if we could replicate this into the A Sol, it could be decent. So I'm gonna hope that, you know, this uh, game plan holds up. Uh, 
Okay, I'm not even gonna bother summoning Garen because we have the victory here. So let's play a counterfeit copies. We'll probably just copy the uh, uh, Shadow Assassin, doesn't really matter. Plus two plus zero. Give it on to the Lee, drag the Draven, and we should get the victory. All right, going well so far. We get a Reinforcements, a Bright Steel Protector, and Vanguard First Plate. I think we're just gonna go with the Bright Steel Protector. Doesn't really matter, because if we could replicate that tactic into the Lee's, uh, into the Aurelion Soul, we might be able to uh, immediately beat him, of course, with the Unyielding Determination, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and take him on. Naturally. Okay, so I think we're gonna hard reroll here because we need the cards that we need, which I believe are the uh, Cataclysm and definitely the Lee Sin. So I think we're gonna reroll. Don't get Cataclysm, which could be a little bit bad. Get the Lee though, which is decent. And we do get our Cataclysm. Okay, so we might just have this one in the bag already. Let's put on the Lee Sin first. Force is meaningless without skin. Stuns us here, which isn't too great, but I think it should be fine. Hmm. We'll still play the Twin Disciples because we can progress Lee Sin's level up, which is great. Uh, let's copy the Cataclysm. Oh wait, we can actually take advantage of this, right? Play plus two plus zero here. Can we cast this? I don't think we can. Yeah, there's definitely no units to cast. Alright, it's cool. So I guess we're just gonna pass the turn. Because we can't attack. Alright, we need to get rid of this guy. And I think I just have the trick. Let's put on the Lee Sin first. Um, counterfeit copies will copy the zero cost cataclysm. One disciple plus two plus zero. Drag this guy here. Prepare yourself. Very nice. Uh, cataclysm will get rid of the cane. Okay, we can just drop some units here. Let's start with the Damascene Merchant first. We might need that Unyielding. We can actually play it on the Lee Sin now, which is great. I think we'll just immediately play that. I think they should protect it from Obliterates, right? Or no, Obliterate should still take it out. So we need to be really careful about that, I think. Because Obliterate doesn't uh, register as a kill, I would say. Yeah, so we're gonna have to be really careful about that. Hopefully we don't run into Obliterates. Which is probably not going to be the case. We're probably going to run into it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to attack like so. Count for copies. We'll get plus two plus... Uh, copy plus two plus zero. Plus two plus zero on the Lee again. Oh man, silence. Ah oh, crap. <laughs> okay, this might be bad. I hope not. Um, there's nothing we can do already, right? Yeah, we probably should have waited a bit. Maybe we could have done uh, done some damage actually. It, it, what I mean by waited is essentially wait for it to play some spells first and then play spells of our own. That way we could get the plus eight plus eight buff. I guess uh, we're just gonna resolve this. Let look out on. Horn. Hmm. Not the best, but I think I have a plan to deal with this. Alright, let's uh, attack like so. We are definitely going to want to play some spells here. Um. We'll grant Challenger to the tree 4, I believe. Hmm. 
We'll get the plus two plus zero. That way we could drag the Orn. I'm gonna put the Aurelian Soul here. Center your spirit. Because we have this Cataclysm that we can play, which we could take advantage of if we play this one correctly, of course. I'm gonna bank that he doesn't have an Obliterate, because... Yeah, I think it should be fine. Obliterate is also a slow spell, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think it's gonna have two silences. I hope not. Okay, so let's play Counterfeit Copies. We'll copy the Cataclysm. Alright, plus two, plus zero, we'll give it to... A four, four. I think that's the right call, right? Uh... Oh, the spell shield. Oh, crap. I probably should have uh, played something onto the ace, so I'll get rid of the spell shield. Okay, I think I have an idea. Let's put the Orn here. At least we can get rid of the Orn. At the very least, we get rid of the Orn. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. No, you know what? Let's not give the early and soul the Fury buff. So I think we'll just hang the Damas and Merchant back. And we'll attack like so. Okay, cool. We can free attack here. And we'll free attack the... Sejuani. Oh no, let's free attack, I think, the um, tree 4 here, I guess. Right? Because we want to take advantage of that Overwhelm. And this should be some good damage onto the Nexus. I hope this is the right call here, so we're just going to commit this. Um, okay guys, so, first of all, I was not paying attention there. I forgot about one thing. Lee Sin leveled up gets a challenger to Dragon's Rage the enemy, right? Whenever he challenges the enemy, he Dragon's Rages that enemy. And I totally forgot Cataclysm has a challenger. So, in theory, we challenge whatever unit uh, with the Overwhelm because Lee Sin was at 15 attack. It kicks the enemy to the Nexus. And it deals 15 damage to the Nexus. And, you know, because we have the Overwhelm, we still get the punch through and still deal damage regardless. So basically, 15 plus 15 is 30. And yeah, we definitely win there. I was definitely not aware of that, which is definitely my fault. But yeah, I think, you know, all things considered, we got a lucky break there and we basically won the game. So yeah, I'm really happy that we picked up that Cataclysm on that note. I knew it was a good spell, but at the time, I wasn't, you know, considering this far into this context, I would say. I'm not the most uh, far-sighted player, if you will. I just see things ahead of me and act as this so yeah i was definitely not thinking too far ahead but i'm kind of glad that we picked this up and it was definitely a great spell regardless so a really really accidental clutch if you will so hopefully you guys enjoyed this run here on the channel and if you did consider leaving a like as well as subscribing really do appreciate your support but most importantly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of legends from terra or path of champions content just like this one and with that being said this is signing off thank you all so much for watching thanks for joining me as well hopefully i catch you guys in the next one goodbye